You know, it'll amaze you how many different situations one child will be in over the course of one year in school. And he needs to call upon that courage and he needs to call upon that confidence on a daily basis. And if you don't have it, it's going to be very, very difficult to get to where you need to be in that. One of the most important things to remember about bullying is that there are different levels of bullying. And people think that they're going to come to a martial arts school and they're going to learn how to fight and then we're going to go out and fight bullies. But that's not how it works. A bully doesn't start with physical violence. They don't just come after you and attack you. So what I do is I take a student and I do teach them how to fight. I teach them how to kickbox. I teach them how to grapple, which is defending themselves on the ground. So then they know they have the confidence that if it ever did get to that level, I'd be able to keep myself safe. When a kid knows that they can keep themselves safe at the worst level, right at the beginning stage, the testing stage we call it, stage one, when a kid comes up to you and they test you to see if you're scared, they're gonna find out very quickly that you're not scared. And when you throw your shoulders back and you look at someone in the eyes and you tell them, say, hey, don't call me that name. I don't like when people talk to me that way. And that other kid sees that level of confidence, they leave him alone. Here the rhythm, rhythm. Do it again. Ready? Go. Two, three, two, slide, go. Before I started getting bullied, um, now I'm being not bullied anymore. Most of my kids don't ever, 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 ever have to get to the point where they actually use the physical knowledge that I've given them on another person. We don't ever want them to get to that point. We want them to be able to stop it right at the beginning, stage one of the park. If a parent were to come to me and say, you know, aren't you worried about your children getting hurt? Are you teaching them to fight? Are you teaching them to be aggressive? Um, I think I would tell them a couple things. First of all, one of the things that's stressed a lot here is discipline. Um, it's not go out on the mat and hit each other. Or, or um, even when you are in a, in a sparring situation, it's not go crazy and, and do whatever you want. There are rules. Set. Same type of game that we just played with the jabs is now you use your cross, okay? I used to get in fights in school, and that didn't go over well with my teachers at all. A kid that picks on other kids, a lot of people think it's because they have a high level of self-esteem. It's usually the opposite. Usually a kid that picks on other kids and bullying other kids is because they don't really feel truly good about themselves. So even a child like that is more than welcome to come to my school because I'm going to show them how to build their own confidence so that they don't feel the need that they have to do that anymore. It actually makes you a better person, makes you stand up for yourself, makes you keep your head held high. Through the course of the 60 minutes when your body is tired and you're thirsty and you're working but you want to quit, but your instructor doesn't let you quit, and he starts to teach you about self-discipline and non-quitting spirit. That translates into the other areas of your life, and you actually get that warrior mentality, so when you're posed with a difficult decision, you make the hard right, and you're not scared of the hard work that takes to go that way.